Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will do Tiasic Infestation Quest of this new POI, Arabic Complex. So the entrance, um, you can go in two ways. That door or you can go through this hole. The first place I'm going to clear is this locker room. So... At the beginning of the quest, you can do stealth play. But this place has some trigger spawns, especially at the end. Oops. So we will need to figure that out later. Hello, mister. You can check my server setting in the description below. For now, I'm playing on Insane Night and Difficulty. So I'm gonna swap weapons a lot to maximize my damage for this build. Okay. Now, after you clear the first area, we will go into this hallway, but there will be two ways. You can go through this restroom Go to the hole in the wall. You should reach another restroom, but usually I'm just gonna clear this hallway first before I go into clear that restroom. Don't mind my two block. It's just I like to use this to give myself some. some angle to shoot zombies that's all and yeah, if I accidentally wake them up I kinda have a defense on that hole we clear this and moving on to this area, this room they will always empty Moving on to this area. Oh. Walk someone up. Is she dead? Okay. She dead, I think. So we're going to clear this place. Where's your head, mister? Not one shot that mama in this difficulty. She's still alive and kind of confused. Well, not the best aim today, I guess. Now we will go to this area after we're done with. The previous area. First off, I block that door because we will meet the first trigger spawn here. So I just block that door so they will come to this door instead. Come, come, mister. Yes. Just a building block here. One gone. Still gone. So if you play, so if you play in lower difficulty, it's gonna be chilling. A walk in the park. There you go. Sometimes you will find a zombie spawnable and they will jump down to you. But there's none of them today. Now we go up. And I'm gonna prepare for the trigger spawn. So 
I usually do this. Just destroy one block here. And one block here. And I will place the turret. After preparation, we're gonna continue to clear zombies. If you play run and gun, everyone gonna wake up and run to you, so yes, have fun. I'm not sure of what's the trick for melee player. You need to try to wake them up bit by bit, I guess. So it's not overwhelming. Cheese forgot about me. Try to snipe her. Hello, miss. Where are you going? sometimes <laughs> in the nightmare I'm going to clear this side first zombie along the balcony and zombie inside the room three of them there you go um, there's another one around here. Outside it. Okay, the last one in this area is this guy. Now, I'm going to go down and clear those zombie under. But try not to go far on the right side of you because it will be a big trigger spawn. Just try to stay in this area. First, oh, there's some horde spawn for me, huh? We will deal with that later. Not that one. Okay. Three more. Oh, you're not in the story. Gonna be there. Another one. And another one. Oh. Okay, now I'm going to clear those horde. Not that many. I don't want them to like come in and flank me from behind. Now we're gonna go there to trigger the spawn. There you go. Let's just clear the bird first. Oops. Ouch. Okay. After the bird down, let's go back to my defense. If you play stealth build, you can actually lose them like that, but it it took so much time for me to just try to deal with them one by one with the stealth play, so I'm just gonna shoot them normally for now. Lower difficulty, oops, it shouldn't be much of the challenge, but this is like kind of, oops, a bit of... Bullet sponge for zombies in higher, in higher difficulty. There you go. Goodbye. Shoot him. Keep shooting. Okay, last one. And we have some wanderer that come in here from another side. I'm just gonna clear him. Then 
we done with the first big trigger spawn we're gonna continue now you can resume a stealth play for a bit sometimes if you're quiet enough there will be some zombies still sleeping there but well i woke them up every one of them today <laughs> I'm going to clear this tent first. Oh. Okay. Continue. Okay, nice. I got some fort bites. Hello, mister. After done with this tent, we're moving on. The left tent here, the second one, will not have zombies spawn in it. So I'm gonna ignore it. First thing I'm gonna do after that is this restroom. Sometimes someone's gonna woke up like that. Oh. This is dark or something. Oh. Moving on. One above the tower. And those zombies sleeping peacefully. Continue on to this area. I'm gonna move past this building because there will be no zombies spawning it. And go to the end of this area to clear a bunch of soldier zombies. This pill is quite straightforward. But it's kinda catered to run and gun player more than other builds. You can still play stealth build, but you will you will find some trigger spawn that will eventually kind of make you need to run a gun because the area is it's not catered to stealth build because it's open area and it's kind of hard to maintain stealth if you play in daytime. Like you can still play stealth, but it's not gonna be effective and it will take too much time to just play stealth. And I'm gonna start to prepare some thing that I usually do for this area. So I usually try to make a barrier like this so I can shoot them at the first, at the beginning of the wave and then we will put some block and destroy some box to prevent them from like climbing but okay i'm done preparing we're gonna start clearing some zombies in this area a bit but i'm not gonna move too far in because I'm gonna trigger the spawn around the around the container on the left the yellow container if you reach around that area you will start to trigger a big spawn of zombie it's kind of confusing eh? okay I think we could now I'm gonna place the turret here and let's just trigger them. Yep. Yep, yep. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is jump back and just shoot them from here. They will destroy the gate on the left, but yeah. 
if you play in lower difficulty, you might actually be able to clear all of them before they destroy that cake. Or like, majority of them, but I play in insane nightmares, so yep, I cannot... Kinda cannot doubt them that much, as much as I want. Now, I'm gonna wait for them to climb up there, and we will start running in circle on this, like, hard way. And then shoot them. Okay, I think we kinda good now. Come up, people. You can still outrun zombies even in nightmare speed. But my your stamina. Circle around this pathway and just try to shoot them down. This kind of need a lot of bullets in this in this method, but yeah, I can try to do stealth, but it's gonna take so long in order to do so. Oops. Okay. Let's continue the loop. Come, come. Focus on shooting their head because I want the dismemberment bonus. And I think we're done for a bit. Let me check if I spawn every one of them. I want the turret. This is like a new way, but okay, it's fine. Wait a bit. I got a turret now, and yep. Yeah, and I'm gonna keep continue doing this until I clear all of them. And it's clear, the quest is done. But sometimes when you play tier 6 infestation, the quest gonna be done while you still didn't clear all of the zombies. So be my food on that. Now that we are done, I'm gonna go to the last area. The loot room. That we still need to clear it. There's some zombie in there. Shouldn't have someone left, I guess. The quest is already done. Sometimes there might be some zombies left on the tower. So, be careful about it. Never mind, the game just spawn screaming on me. I remember the sound. Where is she? Okay, so I'm gonna use the stealth play because I don't want her to scream and spawn more zombies. I don't have that much bullets at the moment, so let's preserve it a bit. I guess everyone is dead for the screamer. Now we go for the last one. Oops. There will be one demo zombies in that room, like always have one. So try to not blow him up when he's still inside the room because that is your loot. I'm gonna blow him up around here. And then I'm gonna clear the rest of them. And finally, I'm gonna get my loot. Okay. Finally, everything is done. And I'm thirsty. Let's go loot. Hello, loot. So, that's it for this TOI. It's quite straightforward. 
and if you actually want to come to this root room first you can actually do it because the back side is kind of open but yeah there will be a lot of zombies waiting for you and that's it about this POI it's not stealth friendly and you will need a lot of bullets if you play in higher difficulty mm -hmm. but yeah if you try to play stealth it's fine too but it will take a lot of time for you to clear all of them with the stealth play and yep thank you for watching this video everyone see you all in the next video